All right, so what's up, guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So on the last episode, Eivor finally got revenge for what happened to his family, his parents, which we saw back in the first episode was a complete tragedy. But like I said, I feel like a whole new different conflict is brewing, and now we have to make a decision. Sigurd's father, which was the king of where we live, has pretty much given his king status and just kneel down to another king called king harold who is a very ambitious and young king now this is the same person that offered us manpower in order to defeat or kill kiotve but now he's put us in a predicament where we have to choose to have him as our king or not and obviously if we choose not to then we're pretty much exiled from here or what have you so we now have to go and speak to Sigurd. It is the following day, which is the dead the deadline, pretty much, that he gave us to kind of come to a conclusion as to we wanted him to be our king or not. I think we all have an idea of what that answer is gonna be. It's Eivor. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Oh, he's got her. Oh, you see, he's got his men here too. The will fight back. The wash will never end. Or they will push us into the crypt. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. Hmm. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Yeah, we should leave the resources. Oof. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Which, by the way, they're surrounding the entire land now, which is where we live, our home. This is very, very interesting. And look who is here. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Hmm. Interesting. That's crazy how we're just literally giving all of this up. And all along, our king was working a deal with the other young king, King Harold. And unfortunately, he's young and ambitious, so we can't... It's not like he's old and dying, you know? <laughs> this is where we live, I guess you can say. I think. 
So speak to Sigurd at the docks. This might be a little bit bad. I, I think there's going to be some conflict here. I don't know if this king's going to want us to leave. <sighs> Hopefully everything's fine. Let's see. Hopefully we don't have to make people die here. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? It's time to go. I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Uh oh. I don't know that this is good, man. Whew. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I feel bad. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agif bless your voyage. I feel bad for the king, dude. I mean, that must suck having your son just leave you. <laughs> but I mean, I get it. How are you just going to kneel down to another king? I understand why Sigurd's mad. He, he, he was supposed to be king. <laughs> and yet here we are. Sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoop. To rouse the gods. Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way. An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. Go to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! <laughs> oh, snap. That was pretty much like almost three hours worth the official prologue intro, if you will. Crazy. Oh. Well, this is the first time. Mm. Just dropped like 20 pills.
So we didn't really end up drinking our pills, did we? In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Earthquake? I've never experienced one. I've heard they're pretty crazy. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Yo. Yo. Hey, is that Avor? You're yep. a long way from home, Avor. Hmm. <gasps> Bro, that is that is deep. That is so sad. Like, you know that he's de he's dead, and you, you that's like who you play with. You know, like, oh man, a long way from home. I wonder what happens, dude. Can I look at that? Oh, bro, that's crazy. Where are we supposed to go? Examine. Oh. Walk into town than use this. Okay. Let's go inside and see what we can. Oh, okay. Sweet tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. All right. Now, before we head in there... Just... You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Let's see if we can investigate as much as we possibly remember, can. all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I... I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of... Why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years. Then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Interesting. Okay. Let's speak to Rebecca. 
feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I, mean, I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Your friend. All right, let's go back to the end. Okay. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. <laughs> Jesus. A week. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Hmm. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. Would that be Eivor? As an older... That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. I mean, find the wolf kissed, find me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to England. Oh, goodness. I'm glad to see any land at all and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again a we whole week rush our landing. all you see here is Saxon territory the kingdom of Mercia largely unpacified there will be eyes watching us from the trees with bows drawn and traps set we must be wary Randy taking your oars all standing have you spotted something not yet well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbs fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. Oh. They will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the one-eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, 
They must think the same of us. <laughs> hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. So right now we're at the point where we can't even control the ship. Like the long ship. As you can tell, we're not really in charge here. Sigurd is in charge. We're just sitting back. What are they doing? Relaxing. Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. Someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna fuck this place up. Come to stop the boat. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. How is it that they can't hear that big ass ship? That makes no sense to me. <laughs> But one thing I did want to say is I think we have some stuff unequipped. I don't know why. I feel a little bit uh, naked, if you will. No? Okay. How about skills? We got skill points, right? Four skill points. Before we get into action, just in case. Evasion. Range. What is this? Ability damage. I would do that. Ability damage. Not gonna do it twice. Let's see what we have here for damage. Stun. We'll do stun. Heavy damage. Stomp. Yes. Go up through here, maybe. I should not be seen in this area. Oof. Excellent. All right, so I don't have a double assassination. I'm pretty sure I don't have a double assassination. Oh my God, the guy was looking this way. He did not spot me. We are still in the clear. This chain is huge and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot. So we probably don't have to kill all of them. So the river chain blockade after conducting several trials, we have found that these enable chains will hold against even the most durable Danish long ships. So long as the mechanism remains intact, several more blockades will be constructed in the coming months and are to be installed on the rivers leading inland. This is our best defense against any forthcoming incursions. It is imperative that uh, these blockades be maintained and kept operational at all times. Any failure of functions is to be reported immediately. Very smart. Shh. Shut your ass up. My name is Avor, and I will Assassinate all of you. Yes. <laughs> we'll do one more just shits and giggles, right? Why not? If we're going to do things, we're going to do them right. All right. We're going to make sure we do them right. In a proper fashion. All right, loot all of this. Everything here is gone. I mean, I like this weapon, but I'm not sure, man. I feel like it's just a little bit too heavy. 
A little too slow. So can we just shoot it with arrows? Yep. Done. Path is clear. I can I, I can promise you one thing that probably would have been able to be done. I could have been able to do that a lot quicker than I did, but I'm trying to be an overachiever here. Excellent. Let's go sit down. <laughs> and uh off we go. a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have easy pickings not today dad we press on until we reach our goal we cannot afford another surprise now be on your guard it should not be far gods i'm ravenous i hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive you should have sent word ahead of us sigurd to get something on the spit if have done uba and eva ragnason are lacking food in england then all of us will starve have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory, and now they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire brick by brick, and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. Last to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Could this be an ambush? Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, unless they stop the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. Ragnarsson's encampment. I wish to meet them as a yard. But if they oppose, then we fight them all together. Hmm. Interesting. So is this going to be our new home? Is this is this it? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor, on me. Actually, I think it is. This is This is actually the same place that we played on the last sponsored video that we did with Yubi. The only thing is it was a little bit upgraded and stuff, but this is actually the same area. Oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. <laughs> Let's finish them! <laughs> Y'all want what some of this? For, oh, I don't think you do. <laughs> yeah, this is actually pretty strong. I still think I prefer the uh, axe, but it's very strong. <laughs> Crazy. 
Yeah, the axe is just much more effective in the sense that it's faster. Ooh. Ooh. This is not going to end well, dude. We just came here and raided their shit. Look at this dude. Okay, there's a guy up there. Come here. Come here, boy. You think you're slick up there throwing rocks at me? Does he have a slingshot? What is that? Well, I feel I feel kind of terrible, dude. We just came here and just literally fucked up their entire home base. It's kind of messed up. Well, to be fair, they are bandits and they probably didn't even live here. Who knows? Maybe they were just here bullying the people from here. But I'm pretty sure that this is exactly the same place we were at. This has got to be it. This has got to be that one spot on the last video that we did about like two weeks ago. Have a look around, all of you. I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Oh, the longhouse is up there. They even got a longhouse over here. Interesting. And they all look very, very similar. And in fact, they look very identical. They are pretty much the same shit. I think we're going to have to go up through there. So I'm going to climb up here. Explore the era. Uh, the era. <laughs> the area. Scavengers might still be hiding in the remains of the longhouse. Okay, so. You know what? Right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change my. Uh, I'm going to change this weapon. Okay. Just got to be careful. Interesting. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Oh, you see, so they were bandits. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. I'm not sure if they said the truth about their names. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. Probably gonna end up recruiting them. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. Just arrived in England and we just recruited From two people. <laughs> friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. 
I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Very nice. So this is our settlement, pretty much. And you do make settlements whenever you migrate from place to place and stuff like that. You can upgrade them. You can do stuff. As we've mentioned in the past. I like it. I like it a lot. You just got to get rid of all those trees on top of the longhouse. I'm not sure if it's a good look. Just being honest. But uh, I'm liking it. It's definitely a lot more life here than there was from our, you know, where we came from. It was nothing but snow. Here we've got trees and shit. Definitely something much different. Fine work. A longhouse to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Looks a lot like Able. Cassandra. Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? Hmm. I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe. The village of ravens. Ravensthorpe, I like it. I thought we were going to have to choose, but hey. <laughs> That's probably a better name than I would have ever thought of. <laughs> Poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. What else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters, a few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. So go ahead and speak to Gunner. So this is exactly where we started off. And it does look exactly like the longhouse back, back where we live. But uh, it's pretty much the same shit. But this is actually the same area, which I just noticed, like I said, that we were at when we did a video on this game a couple of weeks ago, but it was a little bit more civilized, a little bit more advanced, more decorated. The settlement was just a bit more, I guess, established would be the word. So I'm going to call. I need your eyes, my friend. Yeah, let's see. Where do we have to go? Oh, it's actually right there. Okay, speak to Gunner. Settling down. I think we're full on rations and ammo. Let me, let me double check. Well, actually, no. We can get some. That's right. We were just in a, in a, in a fight with those bandits. Any more rations around here? Some berries, possibly. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We already got our banners up and everything. Look at that. As a blacksmith, Gunner's Forge is where you enhance and customize your weapons and gear. We lack the needed supplies to build Gunner's Forge. I should gather the crew and go raiding. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging, blade singing and 
Shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish. Marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Hmm. Melderburn. Take command of the longship. I'm gonna go ahead here and this is our world so here we have three undisclosed areas which i would assume we have to use our longship to raid them to gather resources and gain power and most importantly respect so let me make sure that i've got everything up to par um that's what was missing see that's why i felt a little weird like man Eivor looks like he's, like, missing clothes, but it was because of the... I knew it was something wrong. Okay, so we're going to take... Command. Alright, so monastery raids. Raiding heavily guarded locations is the best way to find wealth, chest containing supplies, and raw materials. Both are needed to construct buildings at the settlement. The raid is done when all nearby wealth chests have been... Looted. Listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We can't raise we the sail here. These Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs. The Saxons know we are here. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah, but nothing more than priests and prayers, I believe. No reason to sail here. Sail out. See you that's crazy we just got here and we're already gonna go <laughs> raid somebody's fucking oh my god so again raid and find resources to build gunner's forge supplies and raw materials are found in monasteries so this is actually pretty far huh we've got one there we've got one here are they all that far yes they are well the f you know what this one's actually not that far. The closest one was actually this one over here. Which, you know, we're just going to go there. Screw it. Just going to head that way. And then we'll come back. We'll probably fast travel to our settlement. And then we'll go the opposite way and get the other one. Although I think we might actually have to do all three. Here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Why am I going up here? I have no idea. But fuck it. <laughs> I am Avor, an assassin. I can do whatever the hell I want. So right now, we've got a construct material. We need. Uh, we've got 20 out of 30. So let me actually see if I can find anything in here, which I think I will. Look at this. We've got a chest already here. Excellent. We've actually got a couple of barrels over there. We've got a book of knowledge as well. That was the photo mode. I accidentally. These are just to loot. Okay, not to break. Perfect. All right. Well, the whole gang is here now. I feel bad for these people. They are about to die. They're all about to die. They've got no idea what's going to happen to them. There we go. Burn the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see, I'm, honestly, the axe is much better, dude. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, heavy attacks are super effective. I feel like the light attacks are not. Oh. Dude, we just came here. Burn their crops. Burn everything. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. I really do. This is so bad. This is not how you come into a new a, a new country and make peace. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucked up. We have infiltrated their camp, their castle, their people. We might as well make this fucking castle our settlement. What the hell? I mean, not saying that I don't like where we're at, but this is much better. Holy smokes. Let me lose some of this. I'm going to need the silver. God knows we're broke. We left all our riches to the king. And this is a big ass fucking chest. Holy smokes. Come, help me with this. I guess this is actually the, the, the barrel icon, if you will. That is all we need for Gunner. But if there's more, we should claim it. Also, we only had to do one. Interesting. Lock the door. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm, I'm going to finish this full raid. It'd be dumb for me not to finish the raid. Don't worry, my people. Eivor, your future king has arrived. Even though I'm getting stabbed in the ass by these spears, we will still prevail. Perfect. Use the bow and arrow to our advantage. It's actually really good. A bow and arrow is better than, than people think. They've got critical points as well. To give up me shit. Okay, let's go in here. I think there is the book of knowledge is in here. <laughs> yeah, that that totally did not hurt. I did not know we had an underground dungeon with rats and a book of knowledge. <laughs> Dive of the Valkyries. Yes, I'm going to actually use that right now. What does that do? Wow. Okay. I remember that one. I just didn't even know it was called that. Door is barricaded. Well, not a problem. I'll just slice it with my axe. How about that, huh? Oh. Raw materials. We've got some bow and arrows here. Excellent. Move this out of the way. Got a chest here as well. Nice, bro. This place was fucking loaded. I'm actually happy we came here. It was a little bit further than the last one, but it's got a lot of things. Keep out of the marsh. She waits in the marsh, her cruel and ghastly wretch. The disturber is to awaken a demon, one who still eats. One who will eat your soul. Stay away. Stay away. All right. Nice. Perfect. And I think the last barrel's in here. We've also got some... Oh, no. We got some loot up in here, too. There should be some sort of stable or something nice help me out here perfect the raid has been completed the last bit of raw materials has been acquired so return to your settlement and build Gunner's Forge. All right, we have arrived. And we good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. Oh, we have to read the banner here. Perfect. So blacksmith. That's dope. You raid stuff and then with the resources you get from raiding, you get to upgrade. What a, a fucking huge improvement. Bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. 
I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. And what can I do for you on this fine day? So building the settlement, gain access to unique services, settlers, quests, and more construction uh, buildings during Ravensthorpe. Ravensthorpe. The construction, uh, to construct a new building, approach a signpost with sufficient supplies and raw materials. As the settlement grows, it will gain renown and unlock new building opportunities. Call the Raven to see all the services that are built. Survey the area. Greetings. Wow. So let's check out the inside. Very, very nice. How I just hooked you up. You better give me a good price. <laughs> I swear to God. I want to upgrade my gear. What do you have? What do you do here? Oh. What have you got for me today? Hmm. Varen's axe. Well, we don't have enough. I've been using this axe this whole time. And this one is actually stronger. My father's axe was actually stronger. Can we upgrade? Yeah, we'll give it a nice little upgrade. Yeah, let's... Let's upgrade this. Perfect. I don't want to upgrade too much because, as you know, we're probably going to end up getting new gear eventually. And that new gear is going to be substantially better than the one we have now. So instead of using all those resources to upgrade the one that we have now, which is eventually not going to be as good, might as well save it and use it for a better one. It isn't spelled how you think. And as you suspected, the sons of Ragnar moved there some months ago. We know for sure that Ivar and Upa are alive and well in Repton. Excellent work, both of you. Now have a rest and a horn of ale. You have more than earned it. Thank you, Randvi. We'll be here if you need us. What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head. <laughs> Hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. That's dope, dude. That's really dope of him. So... Consult the Ravensthorpe's... St ...status. Behold our new encampment born from a spot heap left behind the Sons of Ragnar. It may look a bit uh, shabby now, but with some effort we will soon be a beacon of trade and culture. We currently have the capacity for the following services. Blacksmith, Hidden Ones Bureau, Stable, and... Aviar Aviary? Trading post, barracks. Once the blacksmith's forge is up and running, I could recommend building the Hidden Ones Bureau. Um, as Hyten can help us win alliances in the cities of England. Speak to me if you have any questions, Ranvi. Hmm. A letterbox for messages and requests. And we've got bread and all that. Read the new letter. Read Sigurd's letter. Sigurd's letter, Eivor. I hope this room fits your needs. As we grow our reputation in this land and make new, make new friends and allies, it will be important to be con to keep constant communication with them. Ranvi will drop any letter you receive in this box. Have a look from time to time. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. <laughs> That's a good ass mm, bed. Not much, but it is mine. That is literally fucking bear fur. Uh, 
All right, meet Sigurd at Rowan Stable. Oh, well, we have officially settled down in New England, New England, in England. <laughs> And uh, I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves, to be completely fair. Uh, look, what a beautiful day it is today, huh? Look at this. It looks very familiar to, or very similar to our original home without the snow. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. Why now? Jack, please. This must be done. Yes, and I can help. Look at me. Look at me. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. But we have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire. To a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd. For I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. <laughs> Hello there, friend. Hello there, friend. So do we go to the ladder? Like living in the longhouse. I feel like a yarl. I think we should probably speak to her instead. There you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So... Where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Mm. The Alliance map. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances. Pledge a territory to confirm your interest in alliance. As pledges are completed, the allies are made. Territories will be made available. So we've got Letta Chestershire. Hmm. I wonder. Suggested power level. Rewards. We should probably just do Letter Tell Chestershire. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. Okay. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. 
the sons of Ragnar. Alrighty. So I wonder what that letter says. Let me let me go check that letter. Looks like it. Seems important. Suniba's notes. Eivor, the gods curse us. A Saxon, a best named Wolfilda, has arrived in a small village on the western outskirts of East Anglia, spreading tales of a fearsome monster. While I've yet to see the beast, she claims it wanders the court, uh, the, the countryside slaughtering livestock. The best wishes to end uh, the threat, but, uh, but she lacks the skill to battle a true dragger of the underworld. Here's a chance to gain glory for our clan. I should meet this abbess, Wolfhilda. A friend out of hell. Interesting. That sounds pretty cool. So we go here. This is probably Letter Chestershire. And this is so we go and fast travel all the way over there. All right, so guys, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have officially landed or sailed to England. We have built or established a standard settlement. And uh, next up is the Sons of Ragnar, which is going to be quite interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you'd like to see more episodes, make sure you guys drop it a like. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one.